Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to begin our discussion on the concept of area. And area is defined as the number of square units of space within the boundary of a closed region. Any closed region has an area. So we are used to working with linear units, feet, inches, centimeters, meters, whatever the case may be. So we might have uh, something like this rectangle here, and we'd want to find the area of that. Well, we divide area into square units. Essentially, how many squares can we fit into a particular closed region? This is an example here on the left of one square unit. It's one, whatever our unit might be, one inch by one inch. It's a square, and we would fill that in, and we'd say, how many square units does it take to fill this rectangle? Well, I filled them all, I would have four, and I'll use the unit of inches, and three inches, and we have company hey, <laughs> by the dog. The dog can be better over there. The dog's here. over here. So, hey, say hi Bailey. to Bailey. Hey, so, Bailey. there's Bailey. Bailey makes her first appearance in a video. Alright. So, Debut. Speaking of taking up a lot of space, she is getting there. Good luck with that, boys. So anyhow, this particular rectangle is 4 inches by 3 inches. You can count the squares, and we have 12 squares in there, or we multiply the length and the width, and we get 12 square units, and or in this case, 12 inches squared. Well, why is it inches squared? Because we're multiplying 4 times 3, and essentially we're multiplying inches times inches, which is inches squared. So we have 12 inches squared. I'm not going to calculate the area of this rounded figure. That's going to be too challenging. We'll save that for calculus. Uh, the square here, that's pretty straightforward. That might be two feet by two feet, so we have four feet squared. And we do want to account for our unit squared. So we have some area formulas for you in this section. The area of a rectangle, the base times the height, or the length times the width, and the area of a square, same formula, base times height, or side squared because both the sides are the same in a square. And you might get something like this as part of your classwork. Since every enclosed region has an area, I might ask you to calculate the area of the shaded region. And there's a couple of ways to do this. We could do the subtraction method or we could do divide and conquer. So I don't, I did not fill in all my units here. So that length is two, that length is three, and that's all we really need. So the subtraction method, we could say, we could find the area of the entire region, maybe the area of the rectangle, and then we could subtract our cutouts. So we could subtract this area and we could subtract that area. So we could find the entire area here, which is 8 by 12. So 8 times 12 is 96. And then we could subtract the square, 
and subtract the red rectangle. So the square minus four square units, that's two by two. And our rectangle here is two by, uh, that's gonna be five, so minus 10. And we get our answer, 96 minus 14 is 82 units squared. Or we can do the divide and conquer. Now uh, it's the same figure here. So we know this is six and that's two and that's two, two, five. You would be able to do this without these measurements. So I better include them. That length is seven and well, we know that that whole length is eight. So divide and conquer, we could divide this up into different areas. Okay, here we have something that's three by eight or 24 units squared. And here we have, um, it's gonna be the easiest way to do this. Just like that might be the easiest way. So this is six units squared. And this area here is seven. What's well, not seven? It's five by, uh, five and eight. That's 40 units squared. And this is six by two is 12. Hopefully this all adds up. 12 plus 40 plus 6 plus 24. And we get 30 and 40, 70 and 12 is 82 units squared. So either way, I get the same answer. I can subtract or I can divide and conquer. Some of that's going to be personal preference. Whatever comes easiest to you. I would think if there's not a whole lot to subtract, the subtraction method works pretty well. Here we're divvying up in a lot of different parts. I probably could have divvied this up a little bit differently and made it a little easier. But that is a couple examples, one for divide and conquer and one for subtraction of finding the area of an enclosed region. And you'll get more practice with this when I see you in class.